Hey guys, Pagai Rules here. Last time I talked about Uncle Grandpa, I talked about one of the worst episodes out there. And a lot of people wanted me to review one of the best episodes so that I could explain exactly what works about this show and why I happen to like it. Pal.0, the episode I'm talking about today, is not only what I would consider one of the best, but I think it is one of the most fitting episodes to explain what Uncle Grandpa is. Quite simply, it's weird, it's surreal, it's strange, it's different, it's imaginative, it's creative. As with most Uncle Grandpa episodes, the plot is simple. Uncle Grandpa installs a robot in the RV to keep things from getting too weird, but the robot goes overboard and turns the cast and the RV into super normal versions of themselves, where the characters look more realistic and less cartoony, and the RV looks like a very modern home. And the only way for Uncle Grandpa and the others to defeat this conventionally obsessed robot is by being weird and overloading its weird circuits. And that's the bulk of the episode, characters being weird. There seems to be this consensus out there that being weird and random is always a bad thing in shows, and I don't think that's quite accurate. I think like anything else, like toilet humor, like physical humor, like any other kind of humor, if put in the right hands, if under the right context, it can be very effective and fun. I don't think it's right to say that any one particular thing is always going to be wrong in every single context. For instance, if this was an episode of, say, Steven Universe, and a bunch of random things happened, assuming it was still canon, mind you, then yeah, I would say it's out of place and wrong. But in Uncle Grandpa, that's what it's trying to be. It knows it's weird, it's trying to be weird, and so it's able to harness the weirdness into a focused weirdness, I guess? Considering the characters are actively acknowledging how weird things are getting, I'm personally not bothered by it. I'm just along for the fun, silly, weird ride. Much like with SpongeBob, the story is just there for a framework, of these weird jokes and surreal animation. And as I've tried to explain before, even though the show is weird and random, when it comes to story-based things, everything follows an internal logic. You have a robot that's making things too conformative and normal, then obviously overloading it with so much weird that it can't handle it makes sense in story. As far as the humor goes, there's jokes about what a lot of quote-unquote normal houses have inside of them, like inspirational posters. There's jokes about how quote-unquote normal normal Uncle Grandpa and Friends look, like how Tiger isn't changed at all aside from a hat because she already looks too realistic, and how Belly Bag is now a briefcase filled with business cards, and the piece de resistance is a certain joke towards the end involving a pun related to this robot's name. I will not spoil it, but I laugh so hard every time I hear it. And there's also a song in this episode, sung by Weird Al. Wait a minute, did I forget to mention? Weird Al is in this episode. Yeah, Yes, they made an episode about being weird, starring Weird Al. If that's not great casting, I don't know what is. That guy really gets around in cartoons, and yet surprisingly he hasn't been on Spongebob yet. Speaking of Spongebob, actually, if you like the episode Not Normal, well, this is pretty much Uncle Grandpa's take on the same concept. Though, if I'm being completely honest, I think Spongebob's episode is a little bit better than this one. And if I haven't enticed you to watch this episode yet, let me just say that it features Pizza Steve mutilating himself with a pizza cutter. I'm not even kidding. And throughout the rest of the episode, aside from making one slight remark towards Mr. Gus, he is perfectly fine in this episode. If I had one complaint, it's just that Weird Al's voice is directed to be a little bit on the annoying side. His inflections are a bit, I don't know how to describe it, loud, I guess? It's not grating, but it's just ever so slightly distracting. So there you go. This is the episode I highly recommend watching of Uncle Grandpa. If you don't like it, you're not gonna like any of the rest of the show, and that's fine. I'd never argue that anything in this show is particularly brilliant that someone needs to see it. I wouldn't say it's anything close to the caliber of something like Steven Universe, but it made me laugh, I enjoyed the song, and I like how bizarre some parts of the episode are. I'm also glad I finally got my Uncle Grandpa fusion. Oh, and don't bother watching the short attached to this episode, New Experiences. It's really not entertaining at all. Hi Guy Rules, out. Thank you.